Hello and welcome to this episode of Cosmic Crow Tarot, where today we're going to be unboxing a brand new deck. It's not a tarot, it's an oracle, but I'm really, really, really excited to share it with you. Now, I have not taken it out of the package yet because I really want to point this out and how awesome I think this is. It says this mailer is reusable, tear along the dotted lines below. That means when you open this, you keep it and then you can reuse it and that's all about recycling and I think that's so cool because so many people don't actually do this. Like, I have so many things I get, but MJ Colony, the artist behind so many spectacular oracle and tarot decks out there, she does, and it's just fantastic, because look, it opens so easily, nice little preference sense, and you keep this, and then if you want to mail something to somebody else, you absolutely can, you can hook it back. Recycling is so freaking important, like, that's how people, like, things stay out of the ocean and stuff like that, so that's really awesome. Here's our bubble wrap, so we'll do that ASMR thing that I love doing so much, you know, because it's a stress reliever, that bubble wrap, I love it. I'll keep it, like, and I'll use that over too, so it's, like, the mailer itself, the packaging and everything, it's awesome, but what we're really here to see is the first edition of the Crow Affirmations by MJ Colony. You see it right here, her, the um, company she uses to print stuff, they're fantastic, like, the way this feels and everything, it's so soft and it's just a box, so you can see see that front there very much crow cosmic crow terror you know i could not not have this deck i don't have anything quite like it like i have oracle decks but this is an affirmation deck so it's gonna be really really awesome we're gonna check out all the cards in it and you can see right there it's 96 different cards for daily aspirations and on the back it says thank you for supporting this first edition of the crow affirmations deck i hope you find your crows serve you well and it says spring 2024 and has our autograph on the back so this is very much a first edition you can see the first printing if you are interested in this deck i highly doubt the first edition is still available because the way that mj colony does her decks it's um it's pre-ordered so she knows how many to get at each time and they're beautifully done like so worth it so if you're interested in this i know i saw online that she has like a a wait list for things so you tell her like get on that wait list tell her which deck you want and she'll do a second printing and the second printing even the third printing fourth printing thing it's that same company that makes it and it's well worth the wait it's well worth the second printing and everything so let's get this deck right open you can see the way she does it there's no plastic or anything on it you just take the top off and voila there we have the guidebook right on top the guidebook is very 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 thin kind of like the crow oracle it doesn't really have any Im information about the different cards and stuff in it per se um it's just kind of telling you how to work with the deck and everything like that it seems so these cards it's the affirmation decks and there you can see right on top that first card says wrath and i channel i channel wrath into positive change so it has that message right there let's get all the cards out can we there we go we'll set that box aside and you can see there that first card let's actually smell the deck because it's new Ah, yes, it smells like a new book. It's awesome. But you see that card, that dark and everything. We think of crows and it says wrath. And I channel wrath into positive change. It shows, you know, even when you feel angry, you feel stressed. That gives you the power to change things because you don't like what you're seeing. And on the back, it actually has more information, which is something that most decks, I don't think I've ever met a deck that has it back on front. So that's really cool. It says, I transfer feelings of wrath into powerful catalysts for positive change, channeling my energy towards actions that heal and construct rather than destroy. So that shows like the power our wrath can have when we use it for positive change. So beautiful illustration and message right there. Wisdom is next. I'm just going to read you the fronts of them so we're not like here all day about it. If you like this deck, you know. Um, you know, message me. Um, I can draw you a card from it. You know, I'll add these to the readings and everything so you'll have all that information as well. Wisdom. I seek solitude to connect with my inner wisdom. So this is major hermit energy. And then you have that message right there. Um, I'll hold it up. If you want to pause the video and you want to read that, um, you can do that. Like, I'll do it again really fast. But then we'll set that one down. You've got waterproof here. Drama and emotions do not dictate my actions. Yes, the emotions that we hold on to things that bring us down when we take the time to breathe through them they don't really dictate what we do with them because you know passion passion can go on one side or the other you know good or bad so let that passion lead us to good so it doesn't dictate like those negative actions that we can take because we're upset um 
I didn't set that one right. Let's go with that. Set that one on top of that. And you see that message right there as well. If you want to pause it, it might be a little bit blurry, but you can see that as well. Um, warning is next. I am mindful of warning signs. You have that illustration right there. Remember, we have 95 of these to go through. So you've got that little message there. Pause the video and read it if you want. Send me a message and ask me to read it for you or send you a picture of it. I'll do that as well. Victory in every challenge. I see a path to victory. So it reminds you again, that affirmation. You're not letting the negativity hold you back. You're letting that negativity transform you and make things better. So there is the message on the back. You've got that. And if you can read it, I don't know if how blurry it is because my hands might not be that still. Um, there, I did it again. I'm not setting these up the way that I should be, am I? Oh, they all seem to be the same way, so I'll keep going it this way. Um, Victory is there. Upheaval is next. I transform adversity into opportunity. Your message there on the back to give you empowerment. Trust is next, and trust is the foundation for strong relationships. If we don't have trust, we don't have anything. That's a saying that I hear many, many times around the world and in videos and stuff like that. Have that trust. There is the message on the back, you know, if we feed those crows, like they're doing in the message right there in the picture, then the crows might trust us to come closer, to trust that we're going to give them food and even surprise us with little gifts. This is one of the reasons I love and adore crows so much. Trickery is next and it's I am perceptive and clever. You know, that trickery there, you, I can learn from it. I can trick you too. There is the message on the back again, if you want to see that. And trap is I am discerning. You've got that illustration right there. He's sitting on a little couch, kind of like looking at the world and everything. And you've got the little message there on the back like to empower you. I'll read it really fast. Um, I am insightful, navigating life with wisdom to differentiate between authentic opportunities and false leads. Ensuring my actions are in harmony with my core values and goals. This careful selection allows me to dedicate my efforts to endeavors that genuinely contribute to my growth and satisfaction. So this one gives me um, seven of cups, it's cups energy, you know, taking that time to discern what's good for you and what's not good for you. Tradition, I find joy in establishing new sh traditions. This is major Hierophant energy. This looks so much like the illustration on the Hierophant in the Crow Terra that she created as well. You've got the crows worshiping the crow on top. I find joy in establishing new traditions. And it just reminds you, just because something was is the way it is um, for centuries doesn't mean that we can't change it and make something better. So that's the illustration of that. There's the back if you want to pause it and read it. Because again, I don't think there's enough space on my phone to create this video or that we have the patience and time to sit through me reading everything on these cards. Um, territory is I create healthy boundaries. You have that illustration as well. And the back shares this if you want to pause and read it. Teamwork. Tasks are easier with help. How freaking true is that? Definitely. You've got the hawk there and the crows and everything around him. Although this says teamwork and it's supposed to be like, um, um, like them all getting along and working together. I know from personal experience, I have this happen at least once a week. There's about six crows where I live and one, at least one hawk. There's probably two because they, they like each other, don't they? And they want partners. But the, the hawk, you'll hear it yelling and then you'll hear the crows yelling as well. And then you'll see them all flying around the sky like they're fighting with each other. Maybe they're just playing. I'm not sure. But I don't think necessarily hawks and crows actually get along. Um, survival moments of difficulty are temporary yes those things that want to make us just lay down and die that ten of swords energy it's not going to last forever that's what the minor arcana of the tarot tells us like these things these life life messes like these day-to-day -day routines they're not going to be there forever here's the message on the back if you want to check that out moving on we have surrender i surrender to the flow of life you know we can't change everything we can't control everything so we have to take that time to surrender and just let things happen there is the message on the back for you. Strength is I face challenges head on. Yes, I have that, that strength. There is, I believe this is a harpy eagle. Do not quote me. I could be wrong on that. And he's facing that challenge. He's facing that harpy head on so he can overcome that obstacle and 
gain strength from it. And you have that message on the back. My strength is forged in the heat of challenges, each shaping me with a more resilient and capable being. With courage in my heart, I confront adversity, turning obstacles into stepping stones on my path to success. It goes right back to that strength of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite Smith and the Crotera, I believe, that shows their strength in overcoming the obstacles. Seven moves to eight, getting behind that um, chariot, the wheel of the chariot, overcoming the obstacles that we stand in our way. That's going to help us find that success that we deserve. Uh, stability is I create stability in my life. You have the message there on the back if you want to read it. Spontaneity is I welcome the new and unexplained. That is fun. Always welcome those new experiences. Don't be afraid of them. You might not be able to explain what's going on. You might not be able to control the unknown. But when you're comfortable with it, when you take that step and you welcome those new opportunities, then life opens and is full of potential. Here is the message on the back if you want to read that. Soar is I gracefully soar through challenges. And you have that illustration there that reminds us the chariot overcoming those obstacles and challenges we face to find the success and wealth of the eight. And I navigate, navigate challenges gracefully, seeing each as an opportunity to enhance my resilience and grit. So you have that message on the back if you want to pause the video and go read that. So you can get an idea about all these cards and all the different illustrations and ever here shift i embrace life's shifting cycles and i know this is the same like illustration there the wheel of fortune so this is very much connected to the wheel of fortune of the major arcana of the tarot and you have the message back here of the affirmation like the thing can give you there's a lot written there if you want to read that just hit pause on the video and read it at your leisure shadow is illuminating my inner darkness sparks transformation this very much looks like the moon illustration of her deck, the Crow Tarot. Um, so you have that illuminating my inner darkness, sparks transformation. I think I already said that um, message on the back right there for you. Self-interest is next. Ensuring my needs are not um, are met. Ensuring my needs are met is not selfishness. That kind of confusing a little bit the way that it was written, but we can keep saying that, you know, ensuring my needs are met is not selfishness. Reminding us that we're allowed to be a little bit proud of ourselves. We're allowed to focus on our own happiness and joy. So there is that front illustration, you know, I want this mouse. I'm taking off with this mouse. Everybody else is sad because they don't have the mouse. Go find your own mouse, people. I got mine myself. Um, there's the message on the back right there. And you have like that if you want to read that. Uh, scavenge is next I am on a journey of self-discovery you have that illustration that power you like even if things aren't that pretty and stuff when you're unbagging all of that stress and everything you're holding on to within um, I'm thinking the four of swords energy taking that time to rest and reflect so that you can decide where you want to go next you can find those pieces within yourself to learn from them and you have the message back on the back right there if you want to read that sacred spaces i am the creator of my sanctuary i don't know why i already know this card um i bet it's um in that deck as well the major or not even the major um the tarot deck crow tarot it's probably that illustration in there it might be the world i cannot remember um but it's i am the creator of my sanctuary beautiful illustration they're looking in there now i'm curious and i think i do this is like deja vu in my head remember talking about this card before like i've done a video or something about Crow Terror, maybe the Crow Oracle, or maybe even the um, Raven Stream Terror. That actually might be where I've seen this before. But those eggs are crow eggs blue, like robin's eggs. You always hear robin, um, robin egg blue, like the color. And that's very much the color that you see right here. I'm not sure if that's what crow eggs look like or not. I really have to look that up. But you have that message on the back there if you want to pause it and check that out. We move on to routine because we're at this routine now. We're going through it. My routine serves as a foundation for stability. That's why we do the routine because we keep doing it to become stronger, to make a stronger foundation. So you have that foundation for stability by continuing to do that routine. Here is the message that it shares on the back, that little affirming message that gives you that confidence to go after your dreams, to create that strong foundation because your routine is making you see yourself as a strong foundation capable of anything. So you've got that message right there. Risk is I am a strategic risk taker. That means I use strategy and logic and everything when I take risks. When you're full, you know, taking that initial leap of the fool to begin a new chapter, begin something in your life to take a chance on yourself and make those ideas a reality. 
you've got to be strategic about it you can't just leap and not think about it you've got the ocean of emotion right here too so it reminds you that your emotions play a large part and not let the negative emotions overwhelm you you've got the message right there on the back if you want to read that and then we move to resistance each challenge builds my strength you know, I'm strategic risk taker followed by that resistance says no matter what life throws at me, each challenge makes me stronger than I ever was before. Then you have that message on the back right there. Next up, we have a release. Release is where I let go of what I cannot control. So you just let that pain go. Um, the full moon was just a couple days ago. Um, if you're watching this a month, two months, three months, four months, five months, it's 10 years from now, it doesn't matter. The full moon is every 28 days. That is the lunar cycle. So always a fantastic time to release. And I let go of what I cannot control. And you have that message right there on the back. If you want to read that. Always, you know, embrace that energy of the moon. Release what doesn't lie, serve you. Release what you cannot control because you cannot control it. So let it go out of your mind. Redemption. I embrace my journey through, um, my journey toward transformation. I don't know why that toward just kind of like, I could not figure out what it said. But I embrace my journey towards transformation. There's that like judgment energy here. You want to find that success of the world. You want to feel on top of the world. Then you have to embrace that journey. Embrace that transformative energy and change your life for the better. You've got that message there on the back. Now this one sits right in the center, which is interesting because like this one, you can clearly see it's at the top. But this one here, it sits right in the center because it's like it's the center of the universe that center within that center that you have to become centered in order to be able to transform your life so there's that message rebirth is that i'm a phoenix rising from the ashes and you have that illustration there um i'm not exactly sure what's going on in this illustration okay okay we got to look at it a little bit more closely the phoenix rising from the ashes all the feathers and stuff there pulled apart you even see the bones you see the head up here that skeleton of the crow and it's kind of coming back together it's rebuilding itself here is the message on the back if you know pause in the video to read that if you're interested in doing so and then we move to rain after every storm there is new growth it's getting ready to storm as I'm making this video and I'm just hoping the thunder doesn't come through or something like that. But you have after every rain there is new growth showing like you know think of actual rain when it rains the spring, um grass starts growing the plants get more healthy and everything because you got to let that rain come and even when you cry those tears that are kind of symbolic of rain as well that helps you um find growth that helps you leave that pain behind so that you can create something better there is the message on the back if you want to read that and then the protection is i am protected you have that illustration as well that confidence that the universe has your back in whatever you do like trusting that your guides and the ancestors and god and everything you know those powers that be they have your back in everything you do and there is the message on the back if you want to read that moving on we have preparation i think yeah you can see we're not even like halfway through the deck right now and we're already at 17 minutes so we got to go through these rather quickly um preparation is i am ready for anything you have that message on the back telling you that you are confident enough you are strong enough you are capable enough to overcome whatever life throws at you play is i make time for fun yes life is short we need to make that time for fun to enjoy ourselves and everything i love this illustration how they're playing in the water and everything and you have that message there on the back like instead of in the center again we have it up the top so that's interesting how that one and it only seems that one had that thing in the center so you have the engaging and play right there allowing yourself to have fun perspective is my viewpoint is one of many um i don't know why that a viewpoint and everything and why i'm thinking this but i'll make a little funny here you know opinions are like buttholes everybody has one so you know your perspective that's your perspective someone else might not have it and you have that message there on the back to read that if you want to i'm trying to get it yeah there at that it's kind of a little bit easier to read um moving on open hearted is i approach each situation with an open heart so it's nice to keep our hearts safe. We really let our hearts lead, let love lead. All oh, life is just so much more beautiful and fulfilling. We have that illustration of that. And the message on the back, like the heart is opening there. That is beautiful. The way the heart is opening and it's just following. It's letting its heart lead. It goes back to my saying that I've created since I've created this um, this tarot company. Um, look beyond what you know. Follow your heart. Trust the crow. That crow is following its heart. Trust it. Follow your heart as well. 
observation. I discover information. I discover valuable information from watching others. Yes, taking that time to learn from others, not stealing their work, but being inspired from their work. That's going to help you um, um, get valuable information. Kind of page of swords energy, useful information. There you have the message on the back. Night, sleep is vital to my well-being. Not necessarily need to sleep at night. You can sleep in the day if you want to. Take that little um nocturnal vampire within and make them happy. That's capable. You're capable of doing that too. But that sleep is vital to my well-being is the important part right here. Because yes, taking that time to sleep and look at all those crows in the trees. That's so cool. Um, where I live and I get to experience this um usually once a year. It's closer to when like um, the weather's changing and it gets cold round about november i think like when fall really hits that f depressing fall um all the crows and i mean all the crows i'm talking thousands and thousands and thousands of crows um we call it the cropocalypse because it's just i'm not kidding thousands of crows will fill the sky you can hear the caw caw like really well and it's just it's terrifying a lot of people but i just find it so freaking incredible and beautiful to see these thousands of crows and they all go and they um roost i think it's called roosting they roost in these trees over here and they keep each other warm by doing it and if you can get close enough i mean you don't want to scare them or anything like that but i've actually rolled down my window in places like when we're driving around and we've seen them, um, I'll see them in the trees because at that time of year, it's not, um, there's no leaves on the trees or anything. So when it looks like there's leaves, they're actually the crows sitting in the trees and you can hear them snoring. And it sounds, it's the cutest sound and the like most awesome sound I've ever heard. It's like they're snoring and saying caw at the same time. So it's like caw. Oh, and it's just so amazing yes i i'm loving this deck i'm loving the energy of the crows here and everything because crows are freaking awesome we know this um nature i connect with the healing powers of nature yes spending that time getting to know the crows lying in the flowers appreciating nature it's so so important because it's healing just like that sleep is that night and you have the message there on the back if you want to read that if i don't drop it there we go. Mystery is trust my intuition. And this is the high priestess of the major arcana of the Crow Terra. I remember her well. I think she might be on the box. She might. She's definitely, she's in the deck. She's the high priestess. And it says, I trust my intuition. Always trust that intuition. Connecting with the healing powers of nature. Getting that rest. And like learning from your past and everything. That strengthens, strengthens your intuition. So in everything you do, trust your intuition. And you have that message back there. If you want to read that. And the character right there as well and the clouds and everything coming through finding that clarity from the clouds letting the clouds pass so you can trust yourself um moderation moderation is a path to balance so this is very temperance energy and you have that illustration right there which i believe is temperance of the major arcana um you've got the message there this one's back in the center i think so we can get that moon up at the top but you have that message too if you want to just hit pause on the video and read that um, mischief I embrace on placeful side and it's from the I believe it's the Grimalkin's Curious Cats tarot but I'm not positive because the cat definitely reminds me of that seriously MJ Colinane is such a fantastic artist like just look at the illustration here it's beautiful and there is the message on the back if you care to read that again you can message me and be like hey I really want to know what that card said and I will get the deck out and I'll send you pictures of it that is fine with me um mimicry I embrace my in um authenticity another fun story about crows this is no joke I embrace my authenticity and authenticity and mimicry that mimicry this and this is absolutely 100% true um there's a lot of times when I make my videos especially personal readings and stuff it's like our three dogs know that we're making the video and they want to be a part of it so sometimes you actually hear them barking in the background the crows will hear them outside our six crows i call them my pet crows because i've seen them so many times and i feed them peanuts and everything and i adore these birds but um they'll bark just like the dogs do so if the dogs start barking the crows start making that exact sound or best of their ability they actually bark in unison with the dogs so that dog is like you can make my sound and the crow's like yeah totally i can do anything so that was like really cool um mimicry there is the message on the back with our crazy um creeped out um German Shepherd right there and the crow going ha 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 because I can do it too so very cool crows seriously smartest birds in the world it's actually a scientific fact they are one of the smartest most intelligent creatures in the world that's crows and ravens both they are awesome uh, memory my memory serves me well yes you know howling there with the moon 
learning from the people around you. You've got the houses and everything there. My memory reminds me who gives me peanuts and who doesn't. And they like fruit too that I've read. So, you know, if you want to give them some fruit, leave it out for them. They would appreciate it. you got that message there on the back if you're interested in reading that. Magic. I am a creator of magic. Hold magic in our hands and our power. So there it's like manifest that magic. Magician energy. And we've got that illustration right there. And the message there on the back. Seriously, how cool is this deck? You you don't need the guidebook. The guidebook does nothing for you. All the message is right here. And you embrace that power, that empowering energy, and take that affirmation to heart. Keep telling yourself that you are a creator of magic, and then you're going to begin creating magic. Luck. I am lucky. I've got Jupiter on my side. All my power is with me. Yes, it just I'm lucky. See the fish is just coming out of the sky and going into his mouth. Very, very lucky for the crow. You've got that affirm affirming message right there on the back as well. If you want to read that. It's a beautiful illustration again and just how lucky we are to have such a creative artist to like share things like this with us and the power we have to share it with others love is i offer loving energies i've got lovers energy right here and i believe this is the lovers of the major arcana so awesome illustration and that message there on the back as well if you want to read that leadership i am fair i am to i aim to be fair and unbiased in all of my decisions emperor energy because that reminds me of the emperor chair yeah look there's even the aries so this is very much emperor energy and you have that illustration and the message on the back if you want to check that out i know i'm going very quickly but look how much we still get to do so definitely want to keep going karma what what i give will return to me in kind very much justice energy and you have that with the scales and on um, the blindfold and everything on the message on the back right there if you want to check that out isolation is next i find strength and clarity in moments of isolation we have that illustration illustration isolation there that's like song lyrics is something if you want to do it um i spend time in um, isolation to create my illustration yeah see a little wrapping right there you got that little message there on the back if you want to check that out insights would be next i think these are actually in alphabetic order they are aren't they yeah no no they're not because look there's m m um then we go or we're going backwards maybe that would make sense luck love leadership karma isolation i i i so they are kind of in order but i'm not sure insights i seek understanding i take that time to look within and learn from what i can do now, like this this is the proof that the crows are intelligent they know how to make tools out of things to get what they want like the crow here he's um displacing the water he wants that shrimp in there but he can't stick his head in there to get the shrimp so he's putting little pebbles in there to make the shrimp come up to him so very very cool there is the illust or not the illustration that's the illustration but the message on the back if you want to read that injury i do not need to push through the pain um, that is the message right there and you see that um, take the time to rest if you are injured rest so that you will heal remember taking that time to sleep taking that time to reflect taking that time to spend in nature healing those injuries and the injuries are going to make you feel better than you did before you have that message right there and you see the hand i didn't even notice the hand on this side but you can clearly see the hand over here underneath that message showing that pet that sympathy that empathy that others will give us when we're injured you know that'll help us heal as well influences or influences next and you have i maintain my free will even though we're influenced by other people and we learn from them think back to that page of swords energy of other um, observation of other people that can influence me but you're still true to who you are and there is the message on the back illusion is i don't let my desires distort my vision there are a lot of eyes in this aren't there but we think about that eye that's the affirmation energy of it anyways um, I don't let my dis um, desires distort my uh, vision is the message on the front, that affirmation, and there is the message on the back. If you want to pause the video and read that. Illumination, I am comfortable in the spotlight. I want to embrace my sun and show the world what, I want, um, what I'm want. what i capable of. So awesome, awesome illustration of that. Just showing that power, that pride we should have in ourselves. And there is the message on the back if you want to read that. Identity, there is more to me than my reflection yes the more there's more to you than meets you in the mirror when you start loving that person that you meet in the mirror or you see in the mirror you know you can start loving who you are and creating the life that you love there is the message on the back 
And the next card is hope. So we have star energy right there. I am capable and resourceful. Now in the major arcana of the tarot, the star follows the tower, showing that even when the tower collapses, you've probably watched my video last week. If you didn't, I highly recommend. That is a fantastic reading. Um, but it shows when the tower collapses, then you can learn from that. You can build something better than you have before. Because as long as you have hope, then anything is possible. There is your message on the back. Um, growth. Hey, we're all, oh, we started right there at the H and G. So we are going back. We started with like the lower, lower letters with waterproof. I guess there's no X, Y, Z that just ends with W. Um, so we're going backwards. We have G now with growth. I face new challenges with confidence. We have the message there on the back. Yes, backwards alphabet is fun. Um, I'll tell you this weird little story about myself that I've never got to actually put into use. But someone told me once that one of the things, if you got caught drinking and driving, which I don't, don't worry about that or anything. But, um, you know, when you were younger, you always like, oh, then I can do this. It's really cool. And then I'll never get in trouble because when we're younger, we're so like used to like, we're just think we're invincible. Right. So I actually memorized how to say the alphabet backwards because I thought it was cool. It's a good, you know, conversation thing if it comes up and maybe one day. One day I'll be able to actually use it to my advantage. But C Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A is the American alphabet backwards. Ta da! Yes, I can do it. Um, grief. Grief is the next card in the deck. I allow myself to grieve. Yes, take that time to grieve. Take the time to remember our loved ones and the ones that have gone. Take that time to um, cry our tears because that is healing. That's in this deck as well. How freaking cool is this deck? And yes, um, beautiful illustration. It just, again, shows how awesome crows are because they do. They grieve their lost um, loved ones. They take that time to remember them. That's what funerals and stuff are for, right? So we can grieve the ones we've lost and show them you know, that we miss them, that they're not here anymore. So there's that message on the back. Grace reminds me of strength, and it says my inner strength serves me, so it's very much strength. Crow sitting on top of the lion, taming that inner beast or even the external beast. No, I would not recommend going up to a wild lion and like trying to open its mouth like you see in the Rider Waite Smith version of strength. But there's a lion within that we have to tame and we have to calm. So that message there on the back is there for you if you want to pause it and read it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, I can see that it gets a little bit blurry, but then you go back and it's not so bad. So if you just want to like hit pause and read that, you can. Gifts, my spirit is generous, you know, sharing gifts with others, gets people to share gifts with us. So awesome little message right there. Beautiful illustration as well. And you have that picture on the back as, and the message on the back as well. If you want to read that. Ghosts, I can't change the past. Oh, so many reasons I wish I could change the past. So that's where regret comes from, right? When we're not remembering, um, when we're taking too long to remember the things that we didn't achieve. Like one of my biggest regrets, it's the not as depressing one and sad one as I have, but it's definitely up there in like my top five regrets. My first concert was a um, Three Doors Down Nickelback concert when I was 15. And I was close enough to the ch stage that their sweat when they bounced, like they did their head jams and stuff like that they're um they were so close that i actually got hit with their hair hair gel and their sweat it was that good and the lead singer nickelback oh if you've um talked to me you know i'm obsessed with nickelback it's my favorite band he threw his guitar pick jack kruger did and it landed under my shoe and i was so panicked where i was because i have social anxiety so i was kind of uncomfortable and you know i'm only 15 and here's this guy like screaming and all these people getting drunk around me and it was just kind of overwhelming i did not bend down to pick up my shoe someone else did someone else lifted up my foot and took that guitar pick under my shoe hindsight the regret i can't change the past you know you're reading that message there um i should have stepped on that person's hands i should have stepped on and said no that's meant for me so yes i do regret that but i can't change the past and maybe i have to go see the band again and spend way more than 36 dollars and 50 cents for a first row ticket and go see them and get that guitar pick again like get it from a excuse me get it from now freedom i am free beautiful message there freedom to be true to who we are freedom to take those ideas and run with them here is the message on the back if you want to read that not very long there but you know important empowering and stuff like that forgive forgiveness is key forgiveness is key you know can't change the past i'm free to make a better um better future than i had in the past and i need to forgive that future or forgive that past so i can have the key to creating the future that i want 
there is the back if you want to read that i kind of don't want to ever take these out of order because they flow so well and it's fascinating so you have that message there on the back fog is i trust information will be revealed in time you have that illustration the fog is clearing and the message there on the back if you want to read it fertility i bring new ideas to life because the fog clears eventually and when it does you can bring new ideas to real life empress energy right here um fertility you know empress is creativity and creation itself so fertility is there and the message on the back is there as well for your leisure if you want to read it fertility prior to fertility is fear you know in the alphabetic sequence fear comes before fertility f-e-a um i am not afraid i'm not letting that fear of the unknown hold me back i'm going after my dreams you know the scarecrow it's called a scarecrow for a reason crows are supposed to be scared of it but this crow isn't scared of it. it's like standing on top of it going ha ha you know i'm not i'm not scared of you i'm taking control so there is that message on the back e we get to e now so we've got exposed i lean into vulnerability you know that hawk's coming or is that a hawk or an owl i think it's a hawk it might be an owl i'm not sure moon so we're probably going to say it's an owl but you have that exposed i lean into vulnerability I show people my vulnerable side so I can like, you know, they can trust me more. You have that illustration on the back, the hawk. This one's interesting because it's not the same illustration. The other ones have been, but this one isn't. So that's kind of cool. And you have that moon and everything being vulnerable out in the moon and all alone. And the message on the back. Endings, we've got death energy right here. I've never been a fan of this illustration. It's very much the death card from the major arcana of the crow tarot. Endings, I have the strength to let go. Like you're leaving that dead crow body behind that skeleton. You're flying free from it. So very, very transformative energy there. I just don't like dead animals. It devastates me. But here it is nonetheless. And it's still, it's empowering. It's beautiful. And it just shows like leaving behind. I think this actually is a raven and not a crow because it's got the fingers there. And um, ravens are known like their wings spread. They actually look like hands. It's really cool. But um, you got that illustration like the crow or the ravens like leaving the body behind, becoming something better than it was before. There is the message on the back and you see it all the way down at the bottom now. Yeah, he's flying free. He's going out through his dreams because he's right in front of the moon and the moon is all about dreams and everything. He's got that message on the back endings dreams i love how that did it i wasn't paying attention i swear i wasn't looking new but taking those like when you leave behind what no longer serves us and find the strength to let go of it then you can go after your dreams and make them reality there's that key that key from learning from that past so that you can create something better you know believing that your dreams are attainable my dreams are attainable you just have to take that key that knowledge that wisdom and make them happen there is that message on the back and i'm gonna read this one because i'm just i'm excited that it just went flow to flow and you know we need to have that empowerment to believe that our dreams are possible and attainable i dream big and take bold action harnessing the power of imagination to propel me forward towards Toward realizing my aspirations with unwavering determination yes the determination that focus unwavering is going to help us make those dreams attainable and a reality dominance i do not need to dominate to feel powerful no you just need to be confident in yourself that doesn't mean you have to dominate everything so you got that illustration and you've got that back right there um i think yeah this is from the crow oracle i believe i have that deck as well yeah me and crows we know how much i love them but you have this message there on the back as well um the embracing leadership and everything you can read that if you want to distraction uh, is that a dog i think it is actually a dog yeah like a little um boston terrier or something but it's talking to the dog and there's that um another like that whole barking thing about the crows can do nothing takes me away from my goals yes i don't need to dominate the situation i have the power to take um make my dreams a reality because nothing is going to take me no distraction is going to take me away from my goal there is the message on the back and you can see the same illustration oh you look closer here i i see the message down here and i don't pay as much attention so that's why this deck is so cool because it continues there on the back you know the um the crow is you know distracting the dog right here or the cat i'm convinced this is a dog not a cat but um down here the other crow is eating the food because the dog is distracted and doesn't see him doing it distance i am able to take a step back i love the um color of this it's like that dark blue and everything that iridescent energy that crows and ravens can be and it just shows that ability to take a step back and really see things from a distance so you can learn a new perspective about it there's the message on the back 
displacement, I control my reactions. Yes, things happen out of our control. Um, chaos, you know, that's the only constant. So we control our reactions. We don't let the emotions overwhelm us. That was very much in the, um, one of these cards. So we've already seen kind of that same energy. And there is the message on the back. Okay, if you want to pause the video and read that um, direction, I know where I'm going. He is having that desire to know where you want to go, that confidence to know where it is you want to go, what choice you want to make. There is the message on the back. And the deconstruction. Deconstruction is next. I am ready for anything. Yeah, the tower falling, you know, you might have control over that. When you want to let things go, when you're able to let things go, you can rebuild something better. You know, taking that um that change and making something better than you have before. There is the message on the back if you want to read that. That one's really I think that one's really empowering if you want to check that out. Dawn, all of these are empowering. Who am I kidding? Um, dawn is each sunrise offers potential. You know, the early bird grabs, um, gets the worm. So taking that time to, to get up early to see that sunrise is new potential because each sunrise offers potential. And you have that message there on the back as well. If you want to read that, curiosity is next. My curiosity opens doors. Yes, always remain curious. Curiosity may kill the cat, but if the cat's smart and learns from it and is a little bit cautious, then that curiosity is going to open doors for it. You have that message there on the back if you want to read that. Creativity. I create solutions that, um, yeah, that's one of the um, illustrations that I was telling you about, like that reminds you how intelligent crows are. Like the crow is making a tool here to get that shrimp out because he wants that shrimp. I'm really thinking maybe now I need to like go buy shrimp at the grocery store and throw them out for the crows. Maybe put them in really precarious situations to see if, and put a camera on it to see if they actually do that stuff. Like I can actually see it for real. And then I'll actually, I'll post it on YouTube if I actually pull this off and do it. And then you can see it too. It just reminds you how freaking cool and awesome and intelligent crows are. There is the message on the back. If you want to check that out. Completion. I work to um, achieve my goals. This is the world of the crow tarot, I believe. You have that illustration. Um, and you've got the wreath and everything, that infinity. No matter what, you don't give up on those goals. You continue to work for them. That message in the on the back right there. It's very much in the center. It's got stars around and everything showing that empowerment. When you're willing to work hard, you really can achieve magic. Community, I belong. Taking that time to appreciate where you are and feel like you belong where you are. That is so hard for so many of us because we might be different. We might be the black sheep of our families or the black sheep in our business or our works and stuff like that. And we just don't feel like we belong. Taking that time to really trust that we do. Trust that the... um. You know, we wouldn't be here if we weren't meant to be here, that kind of thing. There is the message on the back. It's lower this time, so that's interesting. It's grounded. Like, it reminds you to stay grounded. Even the way that words are on a card. Yeah, you can take that as an intuitive thought. Because um, it's underneath the roots and everything. When you feel grounded and content, then you do feel like you belong. So that is the message on the back right there. I didn't actually read it to myself. No, I just came up with that on my own. Um, communication is, I am comfortable expressing my needs. Yes, we're, we're allowed to have needs. We're allowed to have desires and stuff. And it's perfectly okay to communicate it. Um, there is the message on the back. And you've got the crow right there like, hey, I want this bowl. This bowl? Yeah, you see the bowl is empty. I want to communicate that I want food or something in this bowl. So there is the back of that. Commitment. Commitment is I honor my commitment. This is similar to that of the one that we saw with the blue eggs in the middle. But now there are no blue eggs. That means they have to they have to work together. Did you hear that little little bark there? Yeah, I, I stopped the video long enough to like see if he'd stop. Because yeah, they do this. If a car goes up or down the road, it's like I have to bark my head off at it. But um I honor my commitments. Yeah, they have to do the work together. They have to like see how they've got these little things in. They have to commit to what they want, commit to this matrimony in order to create those eggs. And you have that message there on the back if you want to read that choices is up next you know it's a choice if whether you want to commit to something or not uh, my decisions are sound and well reasoned so taking that time to really make sure this choice is what you want that's what this message is i trust in my gut wisdom and past experiences confidently relying on them to guide me towards making the right choices as trusting in yourself learning from your past to decide what you do and you don't want in your life chains through um, discomfort I grow is this is the devil you can very much tell it's the devil card um you've got the like the crow with the um the ram head I think and the pentagram right there on its head 
And even when you're uncomfortable, you grow from it. You release those chains. That's the energy of the devil. Even if there's things that are holding you prisoner, you have the power to break free from it. The devil is a very empowering card when you see it that way. And you have that message there on the back if you want to read that, showing that you do possess the power to break free if you take the time to learn. So if you want to read that, pause that and read it. Um, catch, catching, I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, but it says, I am comfortable saving resources. As save those resources, Four of Pentacles energy, so that you'll have them for a rainy day. Um, you have that message there on the back. If you want to read that and see like the same picture right there, you're, like pushing those down so he has them, he can keep them away from the other crows and he has it if he needs it. Bonds, we are to the B's now. We only have the B's and the A's. They don't have a whole lot more to go. We still have a few though. Um, bonds, my relationships are strong. Those relationships we have, they, they are strong. Our connections with others, they make us stronger than we are on our own. Here is the message on the back if you want to read that um not not a fan of this card <laughs> definitely not i see it it just makes me mad god they're crows okay they can fly away don't stand in the road and don't deliver hit animals seriously i there's nothing i hate more than animal animal abuse definitely can't stand it i keep do not like hunting i do not like fishing i do not like any anything about hurting animals but betrayal my heart is open to heal that is a fantastic message with this illustration you know i just I just told you here like I don't I get really angry about animal abuse and stuff like that and like all those things that just hurt animals but we have to heal we have to open our hearts to heal from the betrayal we might feel there is the message on the back if you want to read that more more crow abuse it seems because I stand up for justice yes if people hurt crows if purple hurt any animals we need to stand up for that injustice we need to stand up so we can receive that justice there is the message on the back if you want to read that balance I am in harmony we're getting a little bit more balanced a little more calm because I did I got a little bit emotional there seeing that that was ugh, I can't stand that um I am in harmony is the message from balance and just a very calm collected crow like taking the time to learn there is the message on the back if you want to read that anticipation hey we're to the a's we got a lot of a's too awesome this deck 95 cards is that what i said yeah i believe there's like 95 or 96 it's so empowering it's so affirming take these cards and embrace like pick one a day and just embrace that energy and say i am enough I release attachments that is anticipation like the crow here and this is I think anticipation is what it's called um in the crow oracle as well because I remember all those chairs and everything he's anticipating these people to come so they'll put crumbs on the ground and he'll be able to eat those crumbs you have the illustration um on the front and the back there and you have that message there on the back if you want to pause it and read it um anomaly we have the white raven the white crow these are very rare creatures i've never seen one like in actual life i've seen pictures online and stuff and even videos of them they're such beautiful cre creatures because they're exact opposite and they don't not a lot of them live or survive because they're not appreciated by the other crows because they're different but i embrace the unique like if you're different if you're a little bit weird embrace it you're special because like society expects us to be a certain way and if we're not, then, you know, we're unique. We're different. We can blaze our own path. Each unique encounter offers valuable information, allowing me to better understand what is possible. Yeah, learn from the people that are unique. Learn from the people that are proud to be who they are. Learn from the white ravens and the white crows just to be true to who you are. You're unique and special. Never, ever forget that. Um, alliance. Yes, if my cat Dash would ever make friends with a crow, I would be the happiest person in the world. That'd be so cool. I'm open to collaboration. Yes, you don't have to do everything on your own. Someone might be there to help. That um, the cat there, he's like yelling for food, so the person is handing him a bowl, and that crow's like, "Hey, are you gonna share it with me? We can collaborate. I'll bring you something nice from it. Maybe even a mouse. Because remember that one card that had the picture of the mouse, and you had the message there on the back. If you want to read that." alley i am focused you have that illustration when you're going through an alley you definitely need to remain focused to get out of that alley because i don't know alleys get a bad a bad rep like they're dangerous or something because people are hiding in the shadows there um there is the message on the back and adventure adventure is next we have that illustration of i embrace adventure yes life is short embrace those adventures have fun we have that message on the back there acceptance i am supported yes we take those adventures we're willing to collaborate you know paying attention and focused 
with the alley. I am a um excuse me. I am supported, and he's got the acceptance right there. You've got all those crows around him, and he's supported by those people that care about him and his soul family. And you have that message there on the back if you want to check that out. Um, not the, all the crows there. He's got just the moon and himself on the back. Maybe it just took too much work to like get all the crows there. If you look closely, you can kind of see like black little dots there. So maybe that's the crows like, hey, fly with us. You know, we accept you. So you got that message on the back there. And last, but certainly not least, definitely not least, we have abundance and I am open to receiving. So it reminds me, and I love that this card is the ending because it just reminds you that abundance can be ours when we, um, when we, open ourselves to receiving when we're appreciative appreciative of the for things we receive then that's the law of attraction it gives us even more to receive when we're open to it um last but you know last but not least you might as well read this one it says with abundance within reach i maintain my unwavering belief in its presence fostering optimism and perseverance to manifest prosperity in every aspect of my life yes i am open to receiving all of the abundance uh, I'm open to receiving more subscribers and everything on this channel. I know my videos are not, you know, up to par with some of the other ones, but I kind of, I really like to pride myself on just, you know, spur of the minute. You're getting exactly what I'm feeling about these cards as I see them for the first time. When I do the readings and stuff, that is my, just, it's coming through. I'm not, like, I'm not editing anything or anything like that because I want it to be real. I want it to be true to you so that you can really take it and run with it and make your life what you want it to be. This is an absolutely beautiful, incredible deck and I do not have anything like it I love I do it's so original the way that the affirmations and stuff are on the front and the back like that message there drama and emotions do not dictate my actions and then you had the message there with I navigate life with some I navigate life with serene composure consciously deciding to remain unaffected by the drama and emotional turbulence of others this choice preserves my inner peace and keeps me steadfast steadfast ensuring my journey is guided by clarity and purpose is there such this is such an empowering deck um every reading that i'm going to do moving forward i do believe unless i you know get tired of i want to do something else but um every reading every personal reading that i um that gets booked every reading that you book um you know any one that i do this will be one of the decks that i put with it like because that's what my tarot readings are you get the actual reading however many cards that you want to purchase for your reading that's um how i do it like i i the prices I think are going up soon, but um, you can book it directly on my website or message me on either of these socials or comment on this video and um, you'll get the tarot reading itself and then you'll get a rune. You'll get um, two different oracle cards, this one included, and it'll be all that message as well. I might even add more. Oh, and a dice roll. Yeah, I do that. Most people don't, but you get that roll of the dice as well to give you as much power, that, as much information, as much empowerment as I possibly can to show you how awesome you are. If you're open to receiving that, you know, comment on the video, book one directly on my website. All of that is available. Personal readings are always available and that's what I love to do. Video, you know, that's a private YouTube video just directly to you, um, your reading if you want to do that or a written out one. That one is available as well. Very, very detailed. I am, I pride myself on being detailed. So if you are interested in that and you want well, like a card of this, just let me know. Book one and I will do that. This is the Crow Affirmation Stack, the first edition by MJ Colonnane. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I definitely did. I cannot wait to start working with this deck. Um, I will I'll look for it and find that um that link to that wait list or to her website so you can like contact her because she's on social media as well and tell her like you know i want a second printing of this i want this deck it's so cool it's dark it's creepy it's very crowish it's very up my alley so awesome deck i'm so excited for it thank you mj colony for creating it um again thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you again in the next one